Hey y'all, uh, it is Thursday, welcome in. Uh, warm up today, we are doing three rounds. We're gonna get a plank, we're gonna get some sit ups, we're gonna get some tuck jumps. Uh, three rounds through, all right? So one minute plank. Uh, what we're looking for here, down on the forearms, trying to keep a good straight body position. We're gonna hold here for one minute. Uh, if we do need to modify the plank, you can also put your uh, arms up onto a raised surface, so maybe on the couch, um, on a chair, just hold on to that surface and still maintaining that straight body position um, just with the hands elevated like we would modify the push ups. Uh, after we get our plank, we're going to roll on over. We're going to get 15 good old sit ups. If you want to use an ab mat, please go ahead. Um, and then once you get through the 15 sit ups, we're going to get our tuck jumps. All right, tuck jumps, standing in place. We're going to load as we jump up. Tucking the knees up towards the armpits, towards the chest. So we're gonna get three rounds, one minute and a half plank, 15 sit ups, uh, and then 10 tuck jumps. All right, y'all, uh, you just finished the warm up. Both are feeling pretty good. What we're gonna do for the workout today is that you are going to go 10 down to one. You're gonna hit every step along the way, and then you're gonna go one up to 10. So you will do this one rep of each two times here in the middle, All right? So you're gonna go 10 push-ups, 10 mountain climbers, 10 bent over ropes, and then you're gonna go nine and nine and nine, and eight and eight and eight, right? And then just think about that I said everything through here, and then you're gonna go nine and nine and nine, and then 10 and 10 and 10 to finish it out, right? So you're gonna hit every number along the way. Um, this is 110 total reps, per movement, so it's gonna be 110 push-ups, um, it's 110 mountain climbers, and it's gonna be 110 bent over rows. So, especially for the bent over rows, depending on the weight that you have, the object that you have, this number might change. Um, you're definitely gonna want uh, lighter, so maybe moderate weight, uh, light, to, light to moderate for the bent over rows. Um, that is gonna be a lot of reps that we're gonna do there. Um, the mountain climbers, it is, per leg for the reps. All right, so when you do 10, it's gonna be 10 per leg. All right, and I'll show you what that looks like, don't worry about it. But first, push-ups. All right, so we're gonna come down, we're set, push-ups, we're touching our chest to the ground, keeping a good straight body position, and we're extending the arms at the top. Touch the chest, extend the arms. All right, of course we can modify this by going hands up onto a couch, onto a box, onto a chair, uh, if you don't have anything like that, then going from the knees can work also here. We're still trying to keep some good tension with the abdomen. Once you finish the push ups, we're going to go right into our mountain climbers. All right, so mountain climber, you're bringing your toe up basically to the pole. We are going back and forth with the feet. Now, again, it's going to be per leg, whatever number you're on. So it's 10 and 10, and the next round is 9 and 9. Um, so on and so forth until you are done. Uh, and then that last one, we've got the bent over rows. All right, now, maybe you only have one object. Uh, if this is true, then we can alternate arms. All right, so maybe I just have the kettlebell. I can do row, and I can alternate each rep. Or if I want, I can go five reps, one side, and then five the other and switch back and forth. Um, depending on the weight, if it is a lighter weight, and it feels pretty easy getting through just 10 total, five per side, then do um, the number for each side. And that got confusing there for a second. What I'm saying is if it's light and you're on your set of 10, do 10 on the left, 10 on the right. Uh, if it's heavier, then do for the 10, do five on the left, five on the right. Right? It's kind of up to you to figure out how your weight feels uh, for where you're at right now. But again, you're going to go 10 all the way down to 1, 1 up to 10, and now one. It's going to be good. All right, y'all. After party, press the workout, and now you're wondering why your hip flexors are tight, and that's why we're going to do a little couch stretch, we're going to try to alleviate some of that tension. Um, if you do have an ab mat um, or a towel, or anything like that, because you're gonna do it against your wall at your home. 
Um, I would definitely recommend using it. Or if you have a couch and you're at your house, um, literally call it couch stretch because it's, it's meant to be done on your couch. You would put your knee where you would normally put your butt and you would put your toe where your back would normally be on your couch. And if that doesn't make sense, look it up online. Now, you're gonna go knee down, toe against the wall. We wanna get into the hip flexor. So what we really wanna do here is we wanna get our shin as close to the wall as possible. All right, so touch your knee to the wall and then drop it on down. Now, for a lot of us, right here is as far as we're gonna be able to go. Uh, what you really wanna think is to drive this hip towards the ground. So we're trying to straighten our body out, push that hip down towards the ground, and you will feel a good stretch through the hip flexor here. Keep the glutes squeezed in the back. If you need more stretch, we can bring that other leg up into a lunge position. Oh, and this will get a little bit more aggressive in that position. But we're looking to hold for one minute per side uh, in that couch stretch. 